Hey everybody, Chris and Mary Coast here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you a speaking lesson from inside my English Everyday program. I hope you find it useful and I hope you like it. So uh, I try to explain a word uh, exuberate person or charismatic person, yes? Mm -hmm. And uh, in my language, uh, we usually, uh, if to translate it literally, we use an expression uh, is a person who infects others with an energy. But mm -hmm. I looked it up in a dictionary and I, I found out that in English uh, you don't use to infect someone in this a meaning, only in direct meaning to infect someone. No, with... no, 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 we do, we do, we do. We use yeah, it. Yeah, really? Like uh -huh. In fact, uh, so... Infectious uh, energy, yeah. Infectious energy, so it's it's possible to say, or infect others with a joy, yes. In fact, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And there can be lots of double meanings with using this word to about something, right? Yes, but uh, probably there are some uh, some other uh, useful uh, expressions uh, to irrad irradiate energy, irradiate to, to radiate, uh -huh. radiate. Mm -hmm. And for example, to radiate positive energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's also useful. So it's okay to, to say, uh, infect others with their vigor or their joy, uh, their energy. <laughs> I wouldn't say it because, um, mm. especially now, <laughs> <laughs> yes. it, especially now when everyone is thinking about getting infected and stuff, it, I think it even has a stronger of meaning of the real meaning you know but my my mom used to always say uh yawning is infectious i remember her always saying this like a, when a person <sighs> yes i i know and, and when you see a person do it then you want to do it <laughs> Yes, actually, I uh, I used to observe it even uh, with, uh, among sleeping people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they start to do the same together. Yes. <laughs> so uh, if I try to explain what does what what it means, a charismatic person, I can say that uh, it's a person who radiates uh, a positive energy. Yes. Radiates positive energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, thank you so much. I wrote a couple others that I would use chipper and bouncy. Chipper, it's like a person who is very happy. Like you imagine in a film or a movie, a person who's walking down the street, like this is what I think of when I hear the word chipper, especially I, people use this word in the morning when a person wakes up and they're like very positive and smiling. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And bouncy also, it's like a person who's yes, like a ball. Yeah, exactly. So bouncy, a person who's bouncy has energy. Have you ever seen the TV show Friends? Oh, unfortunately, I don't watch TV. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a show called Friends and a lot of people have seen it. Um, so maybe someone will understand what I'm talking about. So bouncy, if I think of a bouncy person, I think of Phoebe, the character named Phoebe in this uh -huh. show. Mm -hmm. We're going out again! Yay! 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy that I managed to attend your lesson. That's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you press like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you want to join one of our speaking lessons, there's a link under this video that you can click to get started today. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.